Blender has a really nice multi-views feature, which allows to render several cameras in the same layer at the same time. But its naming system for outputs is really bad. It puts the camera suffix after the frame number, which makes the image sequence not recognized by the editing software. To fix that, I made a small script to smartly rename the rendered files. I simply take out the suffix from the multi-view, replace it by the name of the view for clarity, and put it in front of the initial file name. As usual, let's begin by importing the BUUI module to talk with Blender. Then we will need the OS module to access the files on our computer, and also the regex RE modules to use regular expressions to better handle and work with the file names. The first step is simply to get the current scene we are in. Then we want to know where we exported our frames. Instead of typing everything, I'm copying the path from the output panel of the render properties. And this part is just the thing we fetched before, so I'm refreshing that. The end of the path also sets the file name, but I just want the render directory, so I'm using the dearName method from OS to get it. We can print it to see if it works. The console can be opened this way. And it does, perfect. Now let's fetch the name of all rendered files from this directory using listdir and print it to be sure it works. We have all our file names with the dirty suffixes. Then because I want to replace the camera suffix by the name of the view, I need to build a dictionary linking the two together. Let's get the view's name. We have left and right, perfect. Initialize the dictionary and iterate over the view names we just got. For each view, I need the suffix. Again, I copy the data path and replace the parts I already have, the current scene and the view name of which I want the suffix. And add this pair to the dictionary this way. Let's print the dictionary. As expected, the suffixes are linked to the view names. Now to rearrange the file name using reject, I need to set the file pattern. Reject uses a peculiar syntax to cut a string into groups, but bear with me. The file name can be cut in four sections. Some random characters as the name, exactly four digits for the frame number, the camera suffix, which is also some characters, and the file extension after a dot. A group of random characters is spelled like this. This is exactly four digits. And the file extension is characters after a dot. So the final regex pattern of our file name looks like this. Let's test this call the method group on the first file in our directory to see if the name is grouped as we wanted. And it also works as expected. Now let's iterate over our rendered files. For each, I match the pattern just as we tested. And just to be safe, we only want to change the file name if there is a suffix which is in our dictionary. The suffix is the third group from the group method, so index2. And finally, we can set the new file name. First, I want the view name associated with the initial suffix of the view. I can get that from the dictionary we made before. Then I also add an underscore to add a bit of separation. And then we have the original file name, the frame number, and the extension. Using the OS rename method, we can rename the original file from old name to new name. I'm using the join method to get the path of the files using the file names and the render directory path from before. Just a quick note here, if you want the script to also work for unnamed outputs, which is a bad practice by the way, you can change the lines 25 and 33 to match those. The new asterisk in the pattern makes the first group optional, 
and the OR operator allows to work with the non-existent first group. The full version is in the description below. Let's bring our renders and their dirty name extensions, run the scripts, and all the files are renamed in a way that Premiere Pro or other editing software can now recognize. Hope this can be useful to some of you. See you next time.